the college basketball experience. Transfer Portal Mania, Georgetown Hoyas, and Yukon Huskies strike edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play their pick them all season long for a chance to win 100 times in NBA, MLB, MMA, NHL, golf, and much more. Sign up today using that promo code TCE SGPN for a 100% deposit match today. Plus, it's NFL draft season, so get on over there to the old-fashioned football as they're giving away some autographed NFL merch uh, over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash off contest. That is the OFF contest to enter today. Welcome, everybody, to the Big 12, or not Big 12, the college basketball experience. Sorry, I did a Big 12 episode just a minute ago. Go check it out. We're talking football mania, but hey, we're on the college basketball experience. Uh, if you want to hear you're listening to, I am Moneyline Mac, a.k.a. the former former video coordinator for Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, also known as... Another edition of the Mac tonight on the College Basketball Experience. Yeah, rock and solo here tonight. Uh, just I had to wait for the college football guys to get done. It is a Miller Light night, so I got my white can over here somewhere. Here we go. Cheers. Miller Light's cold tonight. It's summer. Summer's upon us. Baseball's on. NBA playoff uh, playing games. NHL starts this weekend. Unfortunately, we do not have college basketball, but shout out to the chat. Dave, David, Tim. I uh, appreciate you guys waiting so that we can get things rocking and rolling. If you got any questions in the chat, fire them away. We will do our traditional segment at the end where we'll open it up to you guys have any questions answered. Um, kind of a light day, actually, in college basketball, which actually was not um, not the worst thing in the world. The portal was somewhat quiet. It was more active early in the morning than it was um, in the evening. So that means that tomorrow is going to be batshit crazy because – uh, regression. Even the portal has regression. But real quick, before I dive into the news for today and uh, we look ahead to some of the visits uh, we're going to be having uh, later this weekend, because it is a big weekend with spring football games. It's when you want to get kids on campus. Guys want to fill out the roster. But real quick, I just talked about it. The NFL draft is one week and one day away. So get on over there, the old fashioned football. They're giving away some autograph merch to celebrate JSN, Travis Etienne, J.K. Dobbins, Frank Gore, and many more old-fashioned football. Come for the football, stay for the whiskey. That's what I like to hear. And go over there, sportsgamblingpodcast.com, slash off contest, OFF contest. Let's go. Shout out to those guys. And uh, shout out to Tim, Tim Green in the chat. How about the Mountaineers beating all, the old Pit Panthers? Eat shit pit in the chat. Uh, in, on uh, on the diamond last night, you know, we, we we like to be pitting all sports, but let's talk some portal action. The headline today was in the nation's capital. Ed Cooley striking with the freshman Ivy League player of the year, Malik Mack coming over. And uh, no secret that this was a top priority. He needed his point guard. I know he's a little bit undersized coming into the Big East, but Ed Cooley has been good um, at Providence. So with smaller guards. Um, so I, I like to fit with Malik Mack. I think he's ready for the Big East. He, he proved it um, in his freshman year at Harvard. 17 points a game, five assists, good point guard, good feel, good vision. Um, they just had uh, Micah Peavy, who's kind of been everywhere, started at Texas Tech, TCU. He's a wingman, utility guy. Um, he, he's more of that 6'7", six, 6'8", six, wing that can guard multiple positions. So Ed Cooley got the culture going in year number one. Um, they need to take a step here in year number two. And I know why Dave is in the chat. He's fired up because uh, Dan Hurley struck. Finally, uh, Terrace Reed comes over from Michigan to UConn. Really talented kid. Things didn't work out at Michigan for whatever reason. A lot of things didn't work out at Michigan over this last year. Um, a lot of distractions. So 6'9", 6'10", guy, talented. 
nine points a game, seven rebounds. Um, I think he goes right right behind Sampson, and, and and they they continue to platoon that five spot. They could play play him at the four as well. I think at times. I think, uh, but pr- primarily at the five, Dave. I know you're talking about a two big system. They have liked to do that with Sonogo to Klingon, now to Sampson, now with Terrence Reed. Um, they, I, I'm going to blindly trust Dan Hurley and his staff, Luke Murray. Uh, Kamani as well. So that staff knows what they've been doing. They lost five out of their top eight last year, still won back-to-back national championships. You got to trust as a UConn fan that Hurley and company will know what they're doing. Look forward to seeing where they go next, how they replace this core that's leaving this year. Tristan Newton, Cam Spencer. Uh, we'll see what happens with Caravan. Klingon's going to be a top 10 pick. Um, and obviously Castle. Castle's going to be a top 10 pick as well. So they're, uh, when they had Terrace Reed on campus for the parade, I think they had a good shot that they were going to get him. That's a good recruiting tool. Uh, yeah, c- c- come this weekend because we're going to raise banner number six. And, uh, yeah, if you want to be a part of it, great. If not, well, go fuck yourself. So uh, Terrace Reed's the latest UConn Husky. We'll see what Hurley and company do next. Speaking of Big East, we got a departing Big East member in Dre Davis. He's a six seven six uh, six guy from Seton Hall going to Ole Miss. So Chris Beard, Chris Beard ain't messing around here in the portal in year number two. It's their third 6'6 six, six to 6'9 six, guy. Um, and if you remember Chris Beard's teams at Texas Tech, at Texas he loves having those 6'5 to 6'9 guys to switch stuff defensively. They were terrible defensively, even though they went out and bought two rim protectors. They could not guard a soul this year. It was weird for a Chris Beard team. Dre Davis comes in. He's a little bit of a junkyard dog playing for Sheen Holloway. Joins Mike Keel, Browns, Jones from Greensboro, uh, Malik uh, Dia as well from Belmont. So they're uh, building things up there in year number two. We know Chris Beard can coach. And, um, yeah, I'm I'm going to – Chris Beard's another guy I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust that he's going to bounce back in year number two. Another team. um, So it's very evident that the SEC has money. And and SEC and Big Ten – Go check out Colby's College Football. They just talked about this, how with the TV agreements, the SEC, the Big Ten, they're going to start separating a little bit, which is how much money they're getting from these TV networks, ESPN and Fox. The SEC is buying everybody so far in this portal season. And Missouri is leading the pack. Marquise Wark, a 6'2 starter at Northern Kentucky, averaged 20 points. He, I mean, he was a really good player. He's a lefty, uh, combo guard, could score, obviously. Um He's going to make the jump to the SEC. He's going to join Tony Perkins, so he'll play off the ball because Tony Perkins is a true point guard at, from Iowa. 14 points, five assists over there. Um, and also Jacob Cruz from UT Martin. This is a pivotal year. Somebody signs with Missouri every night, so we break down how pivotal a year this is for Dennis Gates in year number three at Missouri after going winless in the SEC play. So this is a good start with two good guards in, in Perkins and Warwick. And we'll see where they go next. Um, transitioning over to uh, the Big 12, my league. Federico Federico, arguably the best name in college basketball. Rim protector, uh, two years at Pitt. Decent role player, five points, five rebounds, two blocks. That's what you were getting with him. Screens, role player, scores off dump offs, uh, protects the rim. That's the main thing. So he's going to Lubbock, gives Grant McCaslin a much-needed rim protector, they struggled on that front defensively last year. Um, and he's going to drain join Kevin Overton, who committed last night or two nights ago over from Drake, the freshman um, wing guy. So interested to see what Texas Tech looks like in year number two under Grant McCassin with Federico Federico protecting the rim. Uh, speaking of big men, Cohen are leaving the Big 12 now. Victor uh, Lacken, Lack. Lakin, I can't ever pronounce his name. He's going down to the ACC at Clemson. And I think a lot of this is going to be pending on P.J. Hall. He does have a year of eligibility still left. So interested to see if he decides to come back and have exercise his fifth year at Clemson with Brad Brunel. But Lakin, 9.6 rebounds, roll guy, 6'11", good size, played at Cincinnati. He was better in the AAC so maybe going to the ACC versus the physicality of the Big 12 is more of a better matchup for him. Uh, a couple other names. Matt Alaco going from Princeton to Notre Dame, 43% three-point shooter. Good piece there for Shrewsbury in year number two. 
Drew Thelwell going from Moorhead State to Iowa. So Iowa's been losing guys left and right in the portal. Finally get one themselves, 10 points, six assists. So they got a little PG there to uh, replace Tony Perkins. Michael Nwoku uh, is a freshman from Miami. He's going to Mississippi State. 6'10 guy, barely got on the floor. We'll see how he does going to the SEC. And Jackson Pavaletsky, if I'm not butchering that, goes from Iowa State to Ohio uh, Shooter. Didn't get much on the floor in the Big 12 with Iowa State, but his freshman year he averaged 15 points at Walford. So going back down a level, probably where he should belong. Um, but, yeah, that was the portal today. It actually was a little bit of – and some of the headlines – a little bit uh, lighter on the scale, which isn't a bad thing for with how crazy it's been so far. Real quick before we touch on who's left, who's been entering in that whole nine yards, uh, let's talk about underdog fantasy because, well, you, you guys have been following us all year long. Over at the College Experience, uh, promo code TCESGPN. You can play alongside your fantasy sports players all season long with underdog. Pick them. Simply pick higher or lower. Um, I got Trey Young lower points in this game right now and DeRozan higher. So stack those on top of each other. Get a nice payout opportunity. And their pick em special is back for Friday, Thursday and Friday's playing games over uh, on April 19th. And you pick the player, stack them on top of winners. Eligible new customers that sign up the morning of uh, April the 18th will win as, or will have a chance to win as well and be eligible for the special Make sure you sign up with that code right up top. Where is it at? Right there. T-C-E-S-G-P-N. And Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. That is Underdog Fantasy promo code T-C-E-S-G-P-N. All righty. Like I said, lighter day in the portal. Not the worst thing in the world. A uh, couple winners. So far in the portal, I guess winners would be would, would be the name. Um, I think you got to go Indiana. We talked about that last night with Ballo and Rice coming over. Indiana fans got to be pretty ecstatic. Louisville's been a good winner. Um, getting Hadley from Colorado. Terrence Edwards, Sun Belt Player of the Year from James Madison. Um, Georgetown was a big get today with Malik Mack that we just talked about. Ole Miss, they're stacking guys, um, stacking up 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six athletes for Chris Beard. Also, Missouri um, can't get any worse. Texas, unfortunately, has definitely been a big winner so far, um, bringing over the two kids from Indiana State, Julian Larry and Jason Kent, and then Tremont Mark from uh, Arkansas. A lot of moving parts. I just saw Jamani Broom is coming back to Arkansas. He'll join J.P. Pegues from a couple nights ago. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Plenty of names in the portal. Uh, names like Maxim. Maxime, Maximai, uh, Reinhold from Stanford. He's considered one of the top guys. John L. Davis from FAU, Final Four point guard. That was one of the uh, key pieces for Dusty May over the last couple of years. AJ Source still asking for a zillion dollars, so we'll see what happens with him. Talented guard that transferred from Wisconsin. Big kid from Rutgers as well, Clifford Amurray. Jo Jonas Adu from Tennessee. I was kind of surprised that he hit the portal. Usually the Tennessee kids don't leave but he will uh carlisle from stanford the rumor is indiana we'll see um i, I he would join that ballo and miles rice and i i think that would be a good little start there because they gotta get some guys that can make some shots and spread the defense uh around ballo next year in the big 10 um golden as well from fau all signed say michigan great great osabar mountain west player of the year utah state i would assume most likely Washington with Danny Sprinkle taking the job, but we'll see. Mark Mitchell from Duke. Uh, he's not the only Dukey that's hit the portal. Uh, Roach hit the portal last night, so a couple Dukies. Even the Dukies are hitting the portal. Brandon Garrison from Oklahoma State. Ryan Griffin from Alabama. Um, the rumor is Brandon Garrison is going to go from Oklahoma State to Oklahoma. That would be disgusting. Um, but welcome to college athletics in the year 2024 where you can go across and bedlam even though I guess it technically is Big 12 to SEC. It's not even in, in league anymore. Amari Williams going over to or leaving Drexel. I saw Kentucky's going to host him. We'll see what happens there. Javon Porter, Pepperdine, um, Robbie Avila. I would assume that he's probably going to go from Indiana State to St. Louis. Jordan Pope from Oregon State also leaving. 
Okay, Tyson Belmont, Javon Small, Oklahoma State, um, et cetera. Dylan Mitchell, Tyrese Hunter, both left Texas over the weekend when they brought all these guys out uh, or brought these guys in. Roddy Gala, uh, Roddy Gale, sorry, from Ohio State. Soyakovich from Stanford. He's been rumored to Cal, so more on more combat here. But like I said, the portal uh, you could take and they will take away from you as well. Um, let's get into the chat here. Um, Dave talking about Connecticut. Um, he loves his Yukon Huskies. I'd like my Yukon Huskies too. If I went back to back national championship, uh, Dave, uh, Mac, if Yukon lands McNeely, um, next week and the kids date, uh, Bray from Dayton and Hassan from Villanova, and yeah, Castle's gonna get Castle's gonna be gone. I think Caravan's probably gonna be gone too, Dave. Sorry, I meant to keep that up there for those watching on YouTube. Um, I think your culture will keep you uh it, as a contender. I don't think UConn's gonna go away. They probably will. The odds are that they are gonna take a little bit of a step back. I mean, you can't just win every NCAA tournament game by 30 and, and just and turn over your roster year after year and keep doing it time and time again. Uh, Dave makes a good point. Trey Townsend, um, he's also in the portal, uh, the kid from Oakland that uh, I know everybody remembers goalkeeper. Townsend was the guy, the four-man that really they threw the ball to to stop the bleeding against Kentucky, almost got them the NC State win. I know he's been rumored to Michigan, Arizona, and there was one other school, maybe it was Louisville. So another guy, he's talented. He's ready for the jump. Um, Tim's talking about the Mountaineers. Tim, we fa- we filled out our uh, coaching staff for the most part. It, it will be interesting to see what they do with their team. I know Satir Harris, or uh, yeah, Satir Harris from um, from Illinois is rumored. He's uh, going to be visiting this weekend. So we'll see what happens. They did not bring any of the Drake guys. Um, but, I, I mean... There's going to be so much – the NBA Combine, the NBA Draft, some of the best players aren't even in the portal. Um, I, I think we're going to see another wave of players hit the portal that nobody sees coming, even from the Blue Bloods. Um, a lot more statements that come out looking, um, declaring for the draft while entering the transfer portal. That's my absolute favorite. Uh, Kerr, uh, David Kerr, uh, Kerr did not commit anywhere. I uh, hear he's going back to Arizona. I'm just kidding with you. I don't know where Kerr's going to go. Maybe Xavier. I know Sean Miller recruited him out of high school. But, um, yeah, I, I, I've i not heard much on Kerr. But it is early, man. All these guys like um, – sorry if I'm me- mispronouncing your name. Arbo, um, John L. Davis looking for a bag of cash. They're all looking for a fucking bag of cash. That's <laughs> that's calling a spade a spade. Store, I don't know, man. I The rumor was Kansas, but he wanted too much money. St. John's. Um, they're looking for a bag. They're looking for a bag like you guys are talking about, and they're going to shop around until they get the right price or they're out of options in two months and they decide to go to the highest bidder. So welcome to college athletics in the year 2024. I know football really took off today. Um, it's just going to keep getting crazier and crazier. Good. Like I said, good for content, bad for the game, but it is what it is. It's not going anywhere. I know people don't like when I say that, but I mean, not going to lie to you. It's, terrible for the game and i saw that they approved the one-time waivers permanently so this isn't going anywhere anytime soon but like i said light night in the portal let me check one more time to make sure i'm not missing anything before we get up on out of here like um i see arkansas has got, got a bunch of kids coming in this weekend i'm sure byu with the new coach um mark pope kentucky these guys are filling out their rosters left and right um uh, so yeah well, we'll be here, cover it all, every step of the way. We got a Big 12 show, like I said, dropping. So make sure, you're, make sure you are subscribed to the Big 12 show, breaking down uh, the mess of Colorado football, now that Colorado is a member of the Big 12. Um, so, yeah, make sure you're subscribed to all channels on the college experience. Subscribe to the college basketball experience, obviously. That's what you're watching right now. We're here all season long, the portal. Hopefully the portal will eventually calm down a little bit. Then we'll do some uh, we'll do some more coaching, break down what what we think of each program going forward. Do some NBA draft prospects. Do a little um, mix and match with the NBA gambling podcast. I know we we're not the biggest NBA fans, but we 
do watch these guys for six months. So we'll do some NBA dra- uh, draft uh, breakdown stuff in the future. We'll also do some uh, summer recruiting. And well, before you know it, we'll be doing conference previews. We'll be doing futures, breaking it down. Um, college basketball is a 12-month sport now. It used to be just, hey, pick it up here in October. Who's going to be good? Who's in the top 10? You got to follow this shit all year round now, and that's what we're here for to um, – Give you give give you how these rosters are going to shake out, where where these um, where you thought your favorite player was going to be, and said he's he's at this he's at uh, school A next year, and said it's school B. We're here every step of the way. Go subscribe to the college football experience. They're doing the same shit, uh, covering this madness in the portal. They're also sneak peeking week one, week two. I think they're on to week three next year, breaking down some of the good non conference games. That's another thing. We'll start getting some schedule leaks. Some preseason non conference or preseason Thanksgiving tournaments start breaking down the fields, give you something, uh, give you something to look forward to um, in the fall once football season starts winding down. But like I said, subscribe to the college baseball experience, Omaha, right around the corner. And subscribe to the main show, the Sports Gambling Podcast. They're up next, breaking down the NFL draft. We're everywhere over at Sports Gambling Podcast in the college experience. That's all I got tonight, fellas. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. You can find me at Moneyline underscore Mac. And if you want me to read off any of your questions beforehand, uh, DM me on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. That's all I got. This is the college basketball experience. And you better start thinking about yours. Mac tonight, out of here. (laughs) 